Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This video is the second level of Oblivion Place's Winter Palace. In the main line phase, you can choose these three high value equipment. One is Suliator's Ring, a Snowdrift, and the Flurkur. These three rings, it used to be in the skin pack, but now it's on the main line. Among them are Suliator's Ring and Snowdrift. They're all very good legal output rings. Flurkur is defensive. Instructor's Testament and Sylph Seals at the same time can be used as a substitute for the same position. About this series, recommended ranges from Northland Princess and Flowers to Spi Vina and Cacao, a cost effective route. SP Vina is no longer available without SPs chosen, for those too late to get the Vina Dragon, or the players who did not choose the Ice Dragon Vina earlier, I'm going to reassure you today. There are currently 8 SP Blackguards, Legendary Dragon Vina, Coltish Artillerist Mean, Thorny Bramble Elizabeth, Centaur, Minerva, Kimberly are all location outputs. For beginners with zero or low cost, except for starter Kimberly, choose Elizabeth or Mean, it didn't make a big difference. The video for Oblivion 1 Snowfield without SP has already been posted, so there's no more confusion here. If you have any of the output lines SP heroes, Oblivion 1 Snowfield are simpler, only Oblivion 2 Winter Palace is shown here. Blackguard's Equipment Gem Runes These things can be obtained before Oblivion 1, the whole solution is not necessarily optimal, but it's similar. The PvE difficulty, there is absolutely no need to strive for optimal solutions, for advanced runes that are not yet available, and high-grade gem. It's all been removed here too. If you are not very clear about the installation of small partners, you can see for yourself. Due to these SP Blackguard front levels, it's a little high for more reference. Almost none of these damaged lines are active. You can see it here. Rincho is not a good fit to lead. His backswing is too long. It is easy to stay in place after clearing the monster, but his polyphoto effect is perfect for heroes with AoE. These are the current PvE difficulties for the Book of Yogg. The 3 in 1 plan is the most resource efficient. Hegward doesn't need any other assistance. All you need to wash the runes is some basic equipment to stay alive. Forget that three copies of Oblivion can go on three teams, but really it only takes two teams. In fact, you only need to develop two cores, because the process is short. Low spending players, it should only take two months. You can challenge Oblivion 1, a slower three months will be okay. In such a short time, SS is definitely not a complete set. This is also why I recommend Flowers, not Alice's. When a more powerful SP hero is needed to take over, Flowers can be used flexibly as an aid. Both her and Flo's tricks have that freezing effect, a shield that helps teams defeat powerful bosses like that. If you chose Alice in the beginning, so now at this point, his best position is the Ice Dragon Venus Front Toolman. And in terms of PvP ability, Alice is much weaker than Flowers. For rank pressing, it wasn't even obvious until Oblivion Places, but the Black Tide difficulty in Oblivion Places and Everwinter Land. If the level is not enough, it will be very difficult to fight. In Oblivion Places, we don't see his monster level, but presumably, Oblivion 1 is level 750, Oblivion 2 is level 1000, Oblivion 3 is about level 1300. The team level need buying the experience pack, there is no other way. But after the three copies of Oblivion pass through, all can be done by brushing treasures, to speed up that upgrade. 
the last row in the great temple at the black market, then echo or essence. This kind of resource stuff needs to be bought. From 0 to 1, 300, probably 6 months. Okay, now it's time for Oblivion to ease boss. Actually, 2 is less difficult than 1. One is that the whole level process is shorter, only 5 levels. The other is that the boss has that shield value. Just break the shield and the boss. The damage is doubled. And if you break the shield, freeze or go into a coma. It's easy for flow or flowers. Boss's remaining health and time. I'm sure we can get through. Just quit, not waste this one. Elizabeth's presentation is over. Now let's see Mean. In fact, in the team just now, flowers are not the optimal solution. That flow is enough for the shield. The main function of flowers is to promote the speed of movement for the whole team. Elizabeth's output will be higher when assisted by the Salvia Fairy. And now the new hero Helena. It's all an aid to the anger recovery system. In the foreseeable future, the heroes of the universal attack are supposed to be bench characters. At least on PvE, it can't be compared to those heroes who rely on killing skills. Another detail is the captain. When fighting, the player's perspective is to lock the captain position in the upper right corner. The other black guards follow this captain. So roles like Rincho and Vina are not suitable as captains. Because they have that skill that goes way too long. They often end up in the same place after they're done. Usura's katana this skill is especially good for a captain with a very short back roll. Here shows Mean. There are no shield breakers on the team yet. In the beginning, it's weird that Mean's layers didn't go up in seconds. But once that one of his jacks comes up these little monsters are gonna kill you. The whole process is very smooth. Compared to her ability to clean up monsters, Mean has a relatively low output for monomers. That's why he can't be a first sister. It's available through Relic of Thunder and a badge Jetfire emblem to make up for it properly. But it's still not as good as the Dragon Vina with Kakao. Kakao's ability to assist is too strong. This set needs to have a 700 level cast soul weapon. Otherwise, the only way to get him the lightning ball through another thunder hero. Like Soul, he's not very efficient at playing the lightning ball himself, so there's no point in changing this outfit now. Even so, Oblivion 2 is very easy to pass with him as the core. There's over a minute left before we meet the boss, without anyone breaking the shield. The output efficiency is also very good. Okay, so there's no suspense here.
Finally, compare Kimberly. Mean's master attribute is only 1.3 million, then the gem uses all the lower level gems. Elizabeth also uses a low level gem, and the main attribute is only 1.1 million. Commitment to a role, we just need to look at its primary properties, because of spell strength or physical strength. It also has to do with his qualifications for that master attribute. And Kimberly's 158W is close to a 160W force. The weapon is a level 700 cast soul weapon, and the others are also the best Thor's set. With level 15 gem, even so, she will go to jail in oblivion. Cause Kimberly is not suitable as a starting SP, but there's nothing wrong with being a second shot. Her strength is the physical explosion of monomers, and clearing monsters really isn't his strong ability. The relic carries a living flame. Its explosive effect is kind of enhanced in disguise. It's still bad at killing monsters. Its original output is a small range of AoE, but the scope is too small. It would be worse if there were no butterflies. If Kimberly lacks critical strike, the relic can be exchanged for Amethyst Ravenhead or Demonic Glint. It also has 5% of that physical strength, but she'll be just as effective with butterflies. And that's all for this video. See you next time.